At Dulles International Airport near Washington, dozens of Nicaraguans sang their country's national anthem while waiting for over 200 former political prisoners to arrive. Most had been detained since the political crisis of 2018, when protests erupted against the government of Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega. The leftist firebrand leader freed the prisoners, after which they were flown to the U.S. An emotional Ariana Gutierrez Pinto waited for her mother, human rights activist Evelyn Pinto, who had been sentenced to eight years in prison for treason and spreading misinformation. I thought I was dreaming at the beginning when I got the phone call, and, and I said, is it real, is it not real? Because uh, we've heard that before. We've heard, oh yeah, they're going to be free, they're going to uh, leave, uh, but that was used as a form of torture to the, to the families as well. Among those arriving were priests, human rights activists, journalists and opposition politicians, including one-time Nicaraguan presidential hopeful Félix Maradiaga. It's a bittersweet feeling, because living the country that we love with all our souls under these conditions is like a child being torn from a mother's womb. A Nicaraguan court ordered the former detainees deported. Lawmakers branded them traitors. Nicaragua's Congress voted to strip the deportees of their Nicaraguan citizenship. That move was criticized by another former presidential hopeful, Juan Sebastián Chamorro. It doesn't make really uh, sense, uh, and, uh, but it's very typical of the regime doing uh, such illegal things uh, all along. Our, our, our legal uh, case is a, is, a, is a blueprint of uh, abuses of the legal system. Denis Antonio Garcia Giron, a political activist who participated in protests against the Nicaraguan government, said he never thought he would be freed. I expected death. To be here with you is a miracle. I thought I was going to die. According to the human rights group Nicaragua Never Again, 23 political prisoners remain in the country, including a Roman Catholic bishop. The individuals released have access to medical and legal assistance, and we continue to look for ways to support them as needed. While the United States called the release of the political prisoners a unilateral decision by the Nicaraguan government, officials say they facilitated their travel to the U.S., where they have been granted humanitarian parole for two years. Veronica Villafañe for VOA News.